Lindsay Miller from Massachusetts identifies herself as a pastafarian. As a result, she wanted to wear a strainer on her head. Okay. Um, some people call it a strainer, others call it a colander. <laughs> I've never heard it called a colander. Colander? Yeah. I've never heard the word colander in my life. I always Ooh. just called it a strainer. Upper West Side liberal elites and your lack of colander understanding. <laughs> I had no idea it was called a Whoa. colander. Okay, yeah. anyway. Colander. Uh, in the Midwest, we call it a colander. I feel like a colander is more that sophisticated more than sophisticated a, strainer, a strainer, right? Anyway, you win again, Casparian. So she won the right in Massachusetts to wear the colander on her head. She had to fight because apparently the Massachusetts Registry of Motor Vehicles said its policy doesn't permit any head coverings unless it's done for religious purposes. And she says, "Hey, Pastafarians um, represent my religion and what I believe in. Um, they're not necessarily anti-religion, but they like to point out to the stupid things that happen as a result of religion. So as a result, uh, she says the following." It's a religion that uses parody. We accept all dogma, but we reject all dogma at the same time. That's what's so great about Pastafarianism. It accepts everyone. <laughs> now, according to its website, uh, this religion came about back in uh, 2005. It was existing in secrecy for a long time, then it became mainstream <laughs> in 2005. Um, it was founded to protest the teaching of creationism in schools. I absolutely love that. So I, I, I like that she fought for her right to wear the strainer on her head. Um, I love that the picture of her on her ID is creepy as hell, but she doesn't care and she's trying to make a statement. There it is. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, so All good. right, good for her. Fight for your right to like wear that strainer. Like a true strainer. asshole. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, that's really my point. I have nothing else to say about it. Andy, make your point. She seems like a great person. Yeah. She seems like she'd be so fun at parties. Right? She would talk about her religion the whole time, and how she has a cat named Tabitha, <laughs> and her fun kitchen Americana be pin me. collection. God. Don't be I don't, me. I don't, it's just like, oh, you know? Are you like, religious at all? No. Okay. And, and for, this is why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christina, what about this? Is why you're not religious? Yes. I mean, I'm not religious because I think about what's happening in the Middle East right now, and it's all in the name of, of religion. Of course. Yeah. Yes. I mean, there's yeah. that, yes. But also at the same time, it's just like, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I just, internet. You're so tired of the colanders. Is that the colanders? The colanders. The colanders sound like our weird neighbors. <laughs> oh, the colanders are back. They've got that so dog with only three legs. I, I have. A, I don't know. Maybe it is an LA thing. I've never heard that word before. Colander. Colander. Okay. Tweet us at Christina. the point. Let us know. Um, I think if she was trying to get attention for Pastafari or yeah. I think she's succeeded. I mean, her picture's yeah. all over the internet, so I'm sure like that. Wikipedia page has never had more traffic. So if that yeah. was her point, I think she's doing great. That's a great. Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. I mean, <laughs> people usually do these types of things for attention, but I also like. I look, I like what Pastafarianism represents. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that they're making a good point. I like parody, I like comedy, and that's essentially what this is. Yeah. So here's a personal question for the story. What do you think? Do you think, such a hilarious question, do you think selfies should be allowed for DMV pictures? So instead of like doing <laughs> no, that whole no, like no, no, uncomfortable no, no, no. situation, I don't know. I kind of like it. <gasps> I kind of like that idea. Really? I look fucking good in selfies. But that's the thing. Like, if we allowed selfies, like, then every time you'd have to look like that picture. Like, people wouldn't <laughs> recognize you, you know? Like, yeah, but I, do I love, always look like. I love when I go <laughs> to, like, a club or something. I look like crap in my picture. Uh -huh. And then I'll be all dolled up, right? And they'll be like, is this really you? You look so. You oh, look you're different. just prettier in person. I'm like, ah! oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Plus, I think like getting your picture taken at the DMV is just part of like the basic human experience. Yeah, it's very no, I humbling. Agree. Yeah, I, I think agree. it's very important. Yeah, I, it reduces, oh, as a person. It's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. kind of like how the, what they like to make kids wear uh, uh, um, uniforms at, at private schools. It yeah. like, puts everybody on the same level. Yeah. Yeah, we're all yeah. going to be the same oh, ugliness. Go. And that is the American dream. Hey, I think we nailed it. Mm, We're right. solving all kinds of problems here on The Point. All right, cool, cool. Um, I like the selfie idea, so I disagree with you guys. That's okay. That's Never mind, okay. I take back my low five. America. Forget what do you guys you. think, though? Who cares about us? What do you think? <laughs> do you think selfies should be allowed for DMV pictures? Silly question, but lots of fun. And also, um, Pastafarian, would you wear a colander on your head? It's a colander! <laughs> It's called a colander! <laughs> to make a political statement, comment in the section below, tell us what you think, and we'll see you soon.